All right, guys, it is a food Friday. We're at Tonella's Pizza Kitchen right on uh, Dutch Fork Road in Ballantyne, Irmo, whichever it might be. I think it's going to be Irmo is what you're going to say anywhere. Ballantyne, right? Irmo for GPS, but we are in Ballantyne. There you go, like Tony Tonella's. You might remember him, actually. You've been on the show a couple of times. We, we did a cool thing in your restaurant in, uh, in Lexington. Correct. And also you're part of the Big Pizza Challenge, the Good Day Columbia Pizza Challenge for charity. And we won the taste test, by the way. It was good pizza. I thought so. Not going to lie. But here's the deal. This guy is multi-talented. It's not just a pizza joint. I'm sure it's got the name, but we do a lot more than that here at Tonella's. We so do. What are we cooking today? we got a lot of dishes to go over today. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. So let's get right to it. So we're eventually going to get into some pizza. But for starters, we're going to do a uh, fruited damari, which is basically a seafood dish. Uh, fruited damari. Fruited okay. damari. Fruits of the sea. Over pasta. Uh, shrimp, scallops, swai as okay. our fish. And we've got clams and mussels. And it's going to be in a red sauce. A little oh, white wine that. and garlic. All right, let's go ahead pasta. and get cooking here, Tony. So we're going to do that. All right. So come on over here, guys. You can put that right in there. It's the whole thing? Yeah. There you go. What are you doing to prepare the, uh, the seafood? Anything to prepare it before you cook it or just, uh, just coming out as it comes out? Just it's cleaned up and prepped, you know, cleaned up and cut up and ready to go in the pan. Very good. Okay. And then the, uh, the clams and mussels will go in a little bit after uh, we've got that squirt away. All right. A little bit of garlic there. You can never have too much garlic, Tony. I'm just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Guys, don't forget our Food Friday segments every Friday brought to you by the Chef Store and U.S. Food. Yes, thank you for, uh, for making that happen so we can come out and enjoy some pizza and, and other good food here this morning. Great company, Tinellis. by the way. Yeah, they have big, great, shot, great stuff. We appreciate them. It's a lot of fun. It's like, um, almost like Sam's Club without the membership. Exactly. You know, it really is. Right up on St. Andrews Road, too. If you can't find it there, you probably don't need it. I like that. I'm just saying. I like that. As long as you're in the restaurant business. I don't That's think they sell TVs. They don't. <laughs> That's right. going to come up real nice. All right. And put the clams on. Now, in the fun of preparation, you can get We're going to put the recipes, too, for you, by the way, at watch.com slash food for ride days. And uh, get the recipe so you can do this at home, make this for your sweetie, get you out of the doghouse. Very easy dish. Yeah. As, yeah, long, as, as long as all of your preparation's ready, your sauce is ready and everything, it's, it's okay. a fairly easy dish. Wow, so look at that. in go the clams and all mussels. Right. Now you've got your, your other store is uh, Tanella's uh, Bistro. Bistro in Lexington. And that's in Lexington. That's, that's right. That's okay. Right. So then we were up there doing a, a cool thing with you a while ago for that as well. So, yep. all right. How long is that going to cook down for? Just uh, another minute, and we're going to add some sauce to it. Okay. And uh, you can make this spicy. I've got some. Uh, I've got some crushed red pepper here. Okay. We do a dish you here get called a little bite. Exactly. Okay. A little, we've got a dish here called uh, shrimp and scallops fra diavolo that we run as a special means of the devil. A little spicy. So. I've been learning so much Italian this morning, getting ready for the show today. I mean, it is crazy. So you want some authentic Italian food? This guy. It's in his name. You can get it, right? You know, it's a, it's such a beautiful uh, language and a beautiful way to cook. So uh, I've I've kind of a, a studied up on it as much as I could, and you got it. Yeah, good stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and continue on this. We'll show you how it comes out here in just a little bit. We are live all morning long at Tanella's Pizza Kitchen. It's on Dutch Fork Road in Ballantyne or Irmo, depending on what your GPS says. But pizza and more certainly. Tony Tanella's, we're gonna be cooking here for a little while, guys. Stick around, Janet. Back to you. I bet you're hungry now. All right, guys, it is a Food Friday. We are live and local in Ballantyne at Tonella's uh, Pizza Kitchen. I almost said Italian Kitchen. That's something different. It is an it? Italian kitchen. Well, it is an Italian kitchen. We just have, happen to pizza have great pizza. pizza. Exactly. There you go. The good pizza, but it's a lot more than just pizza. Tony Tonelli here. This is uh, this is the fruit of the sea. fruits of the sea. Say fruit, it again for me. Fruit de mare. Fruit de mare. So it's a pasta dish with yep. uh, fruits of the sea. There you Shrimp, go. Shrimp, scallops. Swai, clams, and mussels in a spicy red sauce. There you go. We put that over the pasta. We just made that a couple of seconds ago. I want to show you that. All right, what are you doing here, Tony? This is going to be chicken caprino. Come on. Chicken caprino. Chicken caprino is a, uh, a sauteed tenderized chicken breast. Okay. And it is going to be served over orzo mediterraneo, which we have right here. Excellent. So we are going to go ahead and plate this up. A little oh, that orzo looks good. on the that plate. That looks good. Now you're, you're, uh, you do speak a little bit of Italian, clearly, you've done your research, you know. A little bit. Of the old, the old world, right? Yes, So explain yes. to you just something about cannoli. When I say, give me a cannoli, I'm going to end up with 10 of them if, if I was in Italy. Cannoli is plural. Anything that ends in an I like that, panini, cannoli, it's already plural. So. Right. So technically, if I was in Italy and I was in the old country and I walked over and said, give me a cannoli, he'd walk out with like 10 of them. You'd probably get one, but they'll look at you a little funny. <laughs> so what's the proper way, then, if I want one cannola? Uno canolo. Uno canolo. Uno panino would be one panini. Sure. All right, we there you go. We call it a panini. See, I told you, the language of love is certainly Italian. 
bet your wife loves that. Do you speak, do you speak Italian to her at home? Only when she's mad at me. <laughs> All right, so what are you topping this so off with? So this is uh, topped with our bruschetta mix, okay. which is basically just chopped tomatoes, mm -hmm. garlic, balsamic vinegar, okay. and uh, basil with uh, olive oil. Really and then easy we're gonna stuff. Top it. A lot of times we'll top it with a goat cheese. Okay. This this morning is topped with a... Uh, Look at that. With a feta cheese. God, that looks good. It's really easy to do as well. It is. As long that as everything is ready, you are set and ready to go. We're going to put recipes for you at watch.com slash Food Fridays. Of course, our Food Friday segment brought to you by U.S. Foods and the Chef's Store from St. Andrews Road as well. Look at that. Man, that was real quick and easy. How about that? You pre-cooked that. You plated it up. Look how gorgeous that looks. We're talking food this morning a on a Food right Friday. There. Ooh, look at that. So much more than pizza at uh, Tonelli's Pizza Kitchen. You've also got the place over in Lexington and the shops at Flight Deck as well. Exactly. The Tonelli's Bistro. You get that there as well. All right, so we're going to move on out of these. We're going to try this here in a little bit. Don't you worry. We're going to try this. But we're talking pizza as well. So a whole lot of fun this morning. It's a Food Friday live and local in Ballantyne, Dutch Fork Road. If you're going to come up here on GPS, it's Irmo, right? Exactly. There yep. you go. Tanella's Pizza Kitchen. Tony Tanella, we're cooking it up on a Food Friday. Jam. All right, guys, it's a Food Friday. Yummy, yummy. We're in Ballantyne at the Tanella's Pizza Kitchen. And to find out that, uh, come to find out anyway, that Tony Tanella makes a lot more than just pizza. Although we're going to make some pizza this morning, no, no lie. But take a look at what we put together so far, some fantastic stuff. And up next, we're doing the, it's Portofino? Swai Portofino. Swai Portofino. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we are going to take this fish. And what kind of fish is that? This is Swai. Okay. Uh, the, the proper name for it is Pangasius. Okay. And uh, it's uh, referred to as the new tilapia. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. for tilapia, that makes sense. All right. You guys, don't forget our Food Friday segments every Friday brought to you by the Chef Store and uh, U.S. Foods. Some great stuff as well. So, going to get cooked on there. And also recipes. If you go to watch.com slash food Fridays, we get to go. All right, Tony. So, what do we got next here? So, we're going to plate up here. All right. We and have some Parmesan and Romano risotto. All right. That, does, that itself looks good, actually. Yep, try that. Let me, go ahead and just, let me just go ahead and take a little scoop of that. We'll try this here. I was here when he made this. This is good. Oh, that is good. Oh, it's simple, too. Mm. All right. And we're okay. talking about color as well. You want to make sure you, you eat with your eyes first, is that we say. So. The right, eye eats first. It has to be pleasing to look at, and sure. uh, if it's if it looks good, you might even get away with a little. It's a little bit, not, not a little wink and a, wink and a nudge, right? right? All right, very good. How long are you gonna cook that fish for? Uh, just a few, uh, just a few minutes. Okay. And so we'll I can probably plate up after the, uh, the sure, next one. Sure. Sure. Okay. So you're gonna lay that on top, and you're gonna lay out the. Um, you're gonna put tomatoes on that, some basil right, as we're well. Gonna, we're gonna put a little white wine, lemon butter, okay. some basil, and some tomato in with this, make a little sauce. Real simple stuff. It's, it is. Real simple Food stuff. in Italy is very, very simple. You were saying that, why is it, why is it different over here? We just, as Americans, we just try to make things different. We difficult. Americanize things to kind of the, suit our palate, I think. But right. in Italy, very simple, very clean food. Right. All right, real quick, mise en place, we talked about that earlier. Mise en place, what does it mean? Everything in its place. Everything in Italian, is... tutto supposto. Everything's where it's supposed to be. That makes sense. So yeah. in a restaurant, of course, you want your mise in place. Make sure everything is ready to go. That's right. The more you know. We're learning all kinds of stuff this morning. If everything's ready to go, the show kind of goes off well. There you go. Guys, we're going to put all the recipes and everything for you here in just a little while at watch.com slash food Fridays. Tony's going to have it up. You can try it this week. And, of course, you can come in and see Tony Tanelli. He can make it for you here. He's also got the, uh, the Bistro, Tanelli's Bistro in Lexington. So two locations. But we're over here in Valentine today, live and local on a food Friday. And it's always good when there's wine mixed in. It is a Food Friday. We're live and local in Ballantyne at Tonella's Italian Kitchen or Pizza uh, Kitchen. Italian food, though, for sure. We haven't even got to the pizza just yet. I want to start off with this, though. Look at this. This is yummy, yummy fresh bread. Tell me about this. This is Tuscan bread? It's we consider it a Tuscan farmer's loaf. We bake it okay. fresh each day. Yep. Oh, that is good. That's nice and soft. I may break into those here in a little bit. Tuscan, we were just talking about. See, Tuscan is where the conductor had a home that vexed Jerry Seinfeld. Very vexing. I don't know why. He was, very, vexed by he was that. very vexed by this. He was flummoxed a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to eat the pizza in a couple minutes, but I thought we'd go ahead and close out some of the Italian food we've made this morning. Bring us right back through, folks who are just joining us. What, what do we got going on? So we prepared this morning our classic spaghetti and meatballs. Right. Very clean, very simple, uh, uh, very, very great sauce. We've got our homemade Italian lasagna with uh, all of the pasta dishes are served with uh, our oh, yeah. Tuscan farmer's loaf made fresh in-house. Right. This is a Swai Portofino. It's a light, flaky white fish, uh, sauteed in white wine, lemon, and butter, mm. finished uh, mm -mm -mm. with a little basil and tomato over risotto, and topped with fresh pesto. Okay. 
This is a chicken caprino. Oh, it's I'm a trying this. Chicken breast and it's sauteed, oh, yeah. marinated and sauteed, served over orzo with. Uh, what is orzo exactly? Orzo is basically a rice-shaped pasta. We okay. cook that with a little bit of uh, uh, white wine, butter, and mm. uh, uh, roasted peppers with basil. Mm. That's that is with, my new favorite. That is so with, good. That's uh, with feta cheese this morning. A lot of times it's with goat cheese. Okay. And that's with our bruschetta mix. Uh, uh, wow. Tomato, basil, olive oil, garlic, and balsamic. That is good. And the fruta de mare. This is seafood pasta. It's uh, capellini, and it's topped with uh, shrimp, scallops, clams, swai, and mussels, and a spicy wow. red sauce. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Now, this is all these recipes you actually made up yourself, right? Or many of them, except even, maybe not the spaghetti right, and meatballs. Right, that's been around for a while. You know, one or two minutes, yeah, as the kids yeah. say, sure enough. But this stuff, you kind of create this all yourself. Exactly, yep. And uh, so we run nightly specials. We have several pasta dishes on the menu. Wow. Uh, fettuccine Alfredo with shrimp or chicken, homemade lasagna, penne with sausage, uh, mm. spaghetti and meatballs, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. in addition to the pizza. There we go. Well, tell me about the actual restaurant. How long have you guys been in business? We celebrated four years of uh, great success here in Valentine, uh, May 20th. Oh, wow. Congrats. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So, uh, this now, was... Did you, did you grow up in an Italian kitchen? Your mama cooked you a lot? I mean, why... why I, you... I was in the restaurant business from 12 to 32 and uh, <laughs> ran away like my hair was on fire and right. enjoyed a, a very successful uh, building and real estate career here in Columbia. Okay. And uh, 2010 kind of took care of that. So sure. we switched gears and opened this restaurant. And, Opened the one in Lexington last year. That's great stuff. So, of course, you got this one here in Ballantyne, right, uh, right on Dutch Fork Road, just as you come into Ballantyne from Irmo. And you've got the one over the shops at Flight Deck as exactly. well. Exactly. It's good stuff. It is uh, Tonella's Pizza Kitchen. I keep it's called to say pizza Italian kitchen, kitchen, but it's more of an Italian kitchen. It's because I keep started, eating, eating Italian food. Exactly. Here. exactly. We started out with just pizza, calzones, strombolis, uh, right. best cheesesteaks you can find. And uh, we evolved <laughs> He's into. Humble. Uh, He's humble, this Tony Tonella. <laughs> We uh, evolved into a, a full Italian restaurant. Sure. And, I love uh, it. Very family oriented, it. Uh, beer and wine, and great desserts, salads, appetizers. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, you know, pizza is in the name, so we're going to have all this Italian food. I'll eat a little bit for the next few minutes, but now we're going to get into the pizza. Are you going to make one? Oh, I'm going to try. I'll even toss it in the air. Will you do better than last time? I'm probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Guys, we're live and local. It is a Food Friday brought to you by U.S. Foods and the Chef Store up on St. Andrews Road. So appreciate that, guys, for allowing us to come out and try some awesome foods and experiences. Really cool locally owned restaurants as well. We got more here from Tanella's Pizza Kitchen. Well, guys, the mise en place is checked. Means everything is in place. That's French, not quite Italian, but we're talking about Italian food and pizza. Tony Tanella's Tanella's Pizza Kitchen making some awesome Italian food earlier today. My God, some of that stuff was amazing. Glad you enjoyed it. Not going to lie, here on a Food Friday. But now we're on to the pizza. Right. So what are we going to do? We've got, this is our 18-inch large pizza here. Okay. And uh, those that you're going to do, is, that's a 14-inch uh, medium. All right. And this uh, dough is made fresh each day. We uh, do it the old-fashioned way where we uh, stretch it out. When you order your pizza, it's in a ball in the refrigerator waiting for you to uh, create it. And when you do, it's put out on a pizza peel, just like this, just like they did back in the old country. Look at that, good thin crust. Yep. Are you gonna toss that up in the air? I've again, been like tossing it, man. Stuff? How Ready? you doing with it? Watch this. Ready? Here we go, Tony. Look at you. Woo! Just like that. So um, our recipe is actually from Manhattan. All right. So our, it's nice thin crust then. Exactly. This is authentic New York style pizza. Uh, I love it. Our ovens are from Brooklyn. Oh, then it truly is authentic, Yes, huh? yes. This All right. This is uh, the finest ingredients you can get. This is the best cheese on the market right here. What makes it the best cheese? You just order that. Is it thebestcheese.com or something like that? It is not bestcheese.com. This, <laughs> uh, this is a cheese that's made to spread and stretch and to just do exactly what we want it to do. Is that all the bigger you're going on your, on your pizza? Well, I mean, uh, well, wait, probably now. All right, hold on. I can stretch a little more. It probably is now because I've already doughed it. I mean, I uh, sauced it. There we go. You can actually stretch it out just like this. This one is going to go in the oven now. All right. So we're going to take this. Now, when you're cooking a thin crust at home, Tony, do you put it in for less time than you normally would because it's a thin crust? Uh, you know, it depends on the oven and the uh, temperature you're baking at. Okay. But, uh, yes, typically it doesn't take long at all. All right. So here we have. Enough, uh, there we go. You're going to show off and do yours again. You do the, do the right way, I suppose. There we are. Look at that. Now you were telling me, in this, when you come into Tonella's here, um, just right on Dutch Fork Road, you actually opened up this part of the kitchen so folks can exactly. watch you guys toss. So it is a cool. true pizza kitchen. You're uh, welcome to come look in the kitchen. It's about the cleanest kitchen this side of uh, 
I don't know where. Sears Roebuck. How about that? There you go. <laughs> Guys, Food Friday, of course, brought whoa, whoa, to you whoa, by whoa, the... Whoa. Uh, what are you going to do? What? That's two pounds of cheese. What, what, what's, what, what's wrong with that? Tyler. Tyler. What's, what's wrong with that? It's not two pounds. I'll eat a little bit. Okay. All right. That's gonna be that's gonna be a soup sandwich when you're finished. This is gonna be the best pizza ever. I'm gonna prove it. Throw a little garlic on there. Bacon's a pizza this morning. Tanella's. Now you also have that uh, location over in uh, Lexington as well, so you don't have to necessarily come all the way to Valentine to hang out with that's you. That's correct. That's a brick oven pizza uh, over there, so it's a little bit smaller and a little bit uh, it's a little bit different than this. I got you. All right, guys, we're gonna put details at Watch.com/slash/foodfridays. This is not gonna be a soup sandwich. It's gonna be an awesome garlic-filled pie. Is what this is gonna be when we get done on a food Friday. Yes, Janet. I'll bring you back some pizza. Maybe I'll bring back this one. Hope you like garlic. Look at all this stuff. Stay with us. We are live and local in Ballantyne at Tonella's. Well, guys, we've had an awesome Food Friday today. We're live here at Tonella's um, just off Dutch Fork Road in uh, Ballantyne, or Irmo, I suppose it is. Tony Tonella, of course, has some awesome Italian food. Got to the pizza. It is the pizza house. I mean, you know, the pizza, pizza kitchen. So we got this up. This is my soup sandwich, quote unquote. It's a little rough, but it's it looks not, it's not bad looking. It looks good. I, I, I take it back. Real quick, Tony, what are some pitfalls people uh, at home make when they're making their own pies? So the ideal situation is to have everything ready. You want to let your dough mm. rest. You don't want to make your dough and use it right away. Why? Well, when you stretch it out, it'll stretch back. Okay. And uh, you, you just want to have everything ready and rested and, and uh, ready to go. What about toppings? Is, is there such a thing as too much? I mean, I got a obviously a ton of cheese on That's here. That's a lot of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> no, more, no jokes about cheesy, Janet. <laughs> The more toppings, obviously, mm. the less uh, crispy it's going to be, and uh, the, everything has moisture in it, so mm. it's all going to uh, you know, extract when you put it in the oven. So. Right, and, she, cause the, and the, if it's really moist, the moistness is going to keep, it's kind of exactly. make it a little weak. Okay. Exactly, yep. All right. Just like that, Pizza 101 with Tony. Oh, by the way, I need to know, what is it you call your son? I understand you have a name for him. My son. Mm -hmm. We have a three-year-old boy named Miles, mm -hmm. and I call him... Hey, Miles. Him is Miles watching? Boogie Face is the... Yeah. Boogie Face. Right. Hey, hey Boogie Face. Hey, Boogie Face. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Two locations here, guys. We're going to put links for you. Some of these recipes we made today, some really awesome stuff out of your head, right into your belly. Right. You come into Nellis, but some really easy stuff you can make. So you got some seafood dishes. Of course, the classic, um, you know, spaghetti meatballs as well. Right. But uh, the pie, we're going to go put those for you at watch.com slash food Friday. And we're located directly behind the Hardee's in Valentine. Oh, there you go. That's right behind the, yeah. the little strip mall right back here. That's so you got, right. yeah, you got Hardee's and you guys are right back exactly. here. Location of Flight Deck as well in, uh, in Lexington. So, of course, a Food Friday is brought to you by U.S. Foods and the Chef Store up in St. Andrews Road. Thank you for that. Is that good pie? I made it. <laughs> of course it's good. I made it. Guys, back to you. I don't know if the pie is going to make it back or not, but uh, it's been good. Thanks for having us. Thank you.